China is constantly trying to raise a military specter regarding the Doklam standoff. Indian defense sources have told NDTV that despite Chinese media reports, there has been no large-scale Chinese military mobilization. Exercises which have been taking place in the Tibetan Autonomous Region are annual exercises being held nearly 800 kilometers away from the disputed region. So just how are India's defenses organized against China along a nearly 4,000 kilometers of line of actual control? Vishnu Shom has these details. This is the Doklam Plateau between Sikkim to the west and Bhutan to the east. 300 soldiers from India and China face off at a distance of just 150 meters from each other. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Ground Force, the Chinese army that focuses on the Indian line of actual control, comes under its massive Western Theater Command, which is based across four provinces, including the Tibetan Autonomous Region. In the event of a surge, China can also use its massive railway infrastructure to supplement this number by inducting troops from elsewhere. This has not happened as yet. Countering the Chinese presence in this region are the Leh-based 14 Corps, the Sukma-based 33 Corps, the Tezpur-based 4 Corps, the Dimapur-based 3 Corps, and the Panagar-based 17 Corps of the Indian Army, and also elements of the Western and Central Command of the Indian Army. Now, there's a rough parity in the numbers of troops which can be deployed by India and China, though India actually has more soldiers right on the line of actual control. The Indian Air Force is at a significant advantage over the Chinese because all the Chinese bases are located at an altitude in the Tibetan plateau and therefore their jets can take off but not with carrying a full weapons load. All of India's bases are in the plains and there are no such operational constraints.